part two on abuse in intimate relationships. And today we're talking about what physical abuse is because if you grow up with physical abuse, then you might not recognize it's abuse. So let's dive in. Physical abuse includes pulling your hair or punch, slap, kick, bite, choke, or smother you. Forbid or prevent you from eating or sleeping. Use weapons against you, including firearms, knives, bats, or mace. Preventing you from contacting emergency services, including medical attention or law enforcement. Harm your children or your pets. Drive recklessly or dangerously with you in the car or abandon you in unfamiliar places. Force you to use drugs or alcohol, especially if you have a history of substance abuse. Trapping you in your home or preventing you from leaving throwing objects at you, preventing you from taking prescribed medication, or deny you necessary medical treatment. If any of these things have happened more than three times in your relationship, there's a pattern of behaviors where ultimately they are trying to control you. And that is abuse, and you need to get out. Look, abuse is a manipulative, tangled web, and it's hard to get out. I get it. But you can contact or go online to National Domestic Violence Hotline website and they will give you tips on how to get out and you can even call their hotline and talk to someone about how to get out. Now, your partner might not even know this is abuse because it might be a pattern of behaviors that they experienced growing up and they think it's normal. So maybe sit them down, talk to them about that this is abuse and maybe that will change them and help them grow and become better people. But don't hold your breath. You need to create a backup plan to get out. Obviously you're in danger, your children are in danger, and your children are gonna learn that this is okay and normal and not abuse. We just wanna stop this. So get out, please. <laughs>